does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Welcome to YouTube. I'm back here today for another How to Play video, and today I'm excited to teach you how to play Stitch, Merry Mischief card game from Funko Games for two to six players, age is five plus, and I'm going to teach you how to play right now. So the first thing you're going to need to do is take up all the cards and shuffle them up and make sure that each player has six cards in front of them. Keep those secrets so other people cannot see it, but you can look at it. Also, each player is going to get one present. Any additional presents can be put in the box. So right now I have a two-player game set up. You're also going to set the die in the middle and now you're ready to start now each round players are all going to do the same thing so the first thing you're going to do is put down up to three of your cards face down on the table that all have the same matching color so right now i could either play these three greens down these two yellows down or this one red down so we'll put three green down our opponent might also look at their cards see three greens and put those down as well now there's some other symbols on the card but we'll talk about those in a minute now, after all players have placed their cards face down on the table, everyone is then going to flip their cards face up. Now what you're going to do is look at all the cards that are face up on the table and count how many happy stitches you have versus how many unhappy stitches you have. So in this case, we would have three happy stitches versus one red unhappy stitch. And you can ignore the cards that don't have any hand-drawn stitches at the bottom at all. Now, if there are more nice stitches, which is happening in this case, then you would roll the die one time. If there are more naughty stitches, then you would roll the dice three times. And if you tied naughty and nice stitches, then you would roll the dice two times. So you take turns rolling the die. You're going to look at whatever symbol it is, and then you're going to discard any of the cards that are face up in front of you with that symbol. So this pineapple would discard this card, this card, and this card because all three of them have pineapples on them. Once all players have discarded their cards, they're also going to draw that many cards from the face down pile and put them into their hand. So the player on the right would draw two cards and the player on the left would draw one card. Now in this particular example, we only had to roll once, so we're done. However, if we would have tied on these stitches right here or had more of the unhappy stitch, then we would roll again and do the same thing. So let's pretend like we actually did need to roll three times. We'd roll again, we'd get the record, which means all these cards would be safe, and we'd roll the third time, and once again, it's the pineapple. We now get to save the presents that are left over. So these two presents would go face down right there underneath our present tile, and this one would go underneath this player's present tile. And that's what a round of the game is going to look like. Now you keep doing this until a player runs out of cards. So at the beginning of this round, this player's only going to have four cards left, whereas this player will have five cards left, and that's totally fine. That's how the game works. Now, eventually, one or more players are going to get all their cards underneath their presence, at which point they're each going to draw one card from the top of the deck, pop it underneath their presence. So let's pretend that this player had gotten rid of all their cards. And then everyone else that's still left in the game is going to play one final normal round, and then the game will be over, at which point every player is going to flip over their stack of presents and see how many symbols they have in the upper left-hand corner combined amongst all their scored cards. And whoever has the most of those symbols is going to win the game. Now, if there's a tie, you're going to roll the die, see whatever symbol pops up, and then see whoever has the most of that symbol on their scored present cards, and whoever has the most wins. And if there's a tie then, then you're just going to share the victory. But that's how you're going to play Stitch Merry Mischief card game. If this looks like it might be your cup of tea, be sure to give this one a thumbs up. Check out the Amazon link down below. Or potentially even consider supporting the Patreon or subscribing to the channel. But thanks for having some this fun. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters. And I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month. And as always, thanks for stopping by.